Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Shield Faction XP and a little exploit that I found kind of by accident. And hopefully this isn't just a one-time thing and this happens every single day on a daily basis. But if it doesn't, there is a way here to get some extra Shield and um, Inhuman Faction XP or Antil XP I should say. And I kind of found this by accident because I was trying some other glitches using this method. And the method is, is to turn your internet off and go offline because it reverts all the patches and the latest patch up to date isn't active on your offline account. But some of the fixes that they did with the patch seem kind of like hard coded in because it doesn't work offline, but other things do work offline. So I wanted to showcase this because there is trouble with the factions and xps and picking up bounties and daily threat sectors and stuff not working properly so what i did was i completed all of the faction missions for that day both in anthill and in the shield faction and finished them all off and then i appeared offline and went back to the vendors morales and i think sarah gaza is her name they then had extra bounties for me to pick up that day while I was offline because for some reason when the patch wasn't activated because I was appearing offline kind of gave me the daily bounties that would have been there without the patch if that kind of makes sense now th this could potentially work every single day I haven't actually been on a daily basis yet because I found it just today but if this works and continues to work basically every single day you can only pick up about half of the bounties and then if you appear offline you potentially get another half of bounties that are available which gives you the full bounties all day every day that you are missing because of the bad bugs that are in the game around bounties and factions and stuff at the moment and potentially what that could mean is is when they do fix those bugs and you can get all your bounties back going offline may double up the amount of faction xp available but even if it doesn't even if you can do it only a one-time thing you are going to get at least one level towards your factions out of doing this and what that also means is you're going to get polychoran as well consistently every single day more than you should be getting at least right now due to the bugs and even if it is only a one-time thing you get to you know get some extra resources as well as some extra xp now on both playstation and xbox there is an easy way just to go offline especially for xbox you just go into your network settings and click go offline make sure you've closed the game first on both consoles and then go offline and then reload your game while you are offline and this will work in the way that it's you know that i'm showcasing here complete and do all the things i don't even think you need to complete them offline you just need to pick them up offline because when i appeared back online i still had those missions available for me to do or bounties so even if you wanted to do them with friends all you have to do is appear offline go and pick them up appear back online and play with your friends and, and have extra shield stuff and extra inhuman or anthill alliance whatever the hell it's called extra xp for them while you're playing and that's about it i just wanted to share that with you just in case you wanted to get some extra faction xp thank you for watching hit the like button all that good stuff subscribe leave a comment tell me what you think if you know any other ways of getting some extra faction xp please let me know in the comments down below thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome